What's up guys, today's video is brought to you by Datacolor and they provided me with their new Spider X Pro kit. The Spider X Capture Pro is the ultimate color management tool for photographers and filmmakers, providing all the essentials needed to precisely manage color in your workflow from capture through editing. Every single camera is different. Every single monitor is different. This is a great monitor. MacBook Pros, for example, have some of the best monitor displays on a laptop. Apple also makes the amazing iMac 27 inch 5K display, which is very good. But even though you may have a really good display, technically speaking, if it's not calibrated properly, then your reds might not be actually what a true red is. Your blacks might not be a true actual black. For me as a YouTuber, everybody is looking at my footage on different displays. Sometimes a TV, sometimes a laptop, sometimes your phone, a Samsung phone, an iPhone, an LG phone, an iPad. Who knows what those displays look like? And if my display is not a true kind of neutral color balance, then who knows? The colors could be completely out of whack. Back in the old days, DPs would sometimes go to different movie theaters and make sure that the projector and everything was calibrated perfectly before their film was projected. I obviously can't go physically make sure that my mom's TV isn't cranked up on max sharpness and max saturation, but what I can do is make sure that the monitor that I'm using to color correct my footage with and the white balance that I'm shooting at is the right setting. Have you ever tried to take a picture and the focus is totally off? That's because the autofocus can get kind of out of whack over time and it's something that you actually need to be looking at and adjusting on occasion. Many cameras have the ability to do micro adjustments with the autofocus settings to make sure that your autofocus is spot on with every lens that you have. And if you're using a third party lens like a Sigma lens or a Tamron lens, you can buy the USB adapters that allow you to change the micro adjustment settings on those lenses. Adjusting my lenses autofocus is not something I've ever done before. And now that I have this chart and I understand why this is important, I'm actually going to start doing this on a more regular basis. Watch out bad guys, here comes the spider cube. White balance often is the thing that can make or break the color of your image. So using something like a gray card when you're out shooting is really important to kind of have a backup in case your white balance gets out of whack and you want to change it. This is so practical and so portable. In the kit comes a little pouch and a lanyard that you can attach to the spider cube so you can basically have this thing with you everywhere you go. Obviously this will fit perfectly in any camera bag or fanny pack. There's a quarter 20 thread here on the bottom so you can actually put a tripod plate on this. You can get creative with that, but it's also got a little loop here which not only serves as a way to hang this on a Christmas tree during the holidays, but it gives you another way to put this in your shot. And I think the spider cube is a much better tool than using a gray card because this not only gives you white balance correction but also exposure correction as well. This is the spider checker chart. There's a quarter 20 thread here on the bottom and it allows you to put it on a light stand and a quarter 20 screw on the top that can kind of come and go. So you can get really creative with ways to mount this in your shot. Essentially what you're gonna wanna do is often put this right in front of your talent, get a quick shot of it, boom, that captures your color for that scene and you're good to go. You can then pull this into your video editor. DaVinci Resolve has a plugin designed specifically for this chart that they've worked with Datacom color to create. And if you're a photographer, you can also use this inside of Lightroom using just normal Lightroom and then sending it over to the spider checker software that is included with this kit. A nice little hidden gem with this color chart is if you lift this up here, you can actually switch it over to a gray card, which I greatly prefer over this random color chart. Inside of DaVinci Resolve, when you're doing video editing, you can use the chart and use the preset and essentially create a LUT that you can apply to all your footage. Same goes for Lightroom. You create an HSL preset that you can then apply to your photos from the Spider Checker software. So this is really gonna come in handy when I'm using a multicam shoot, when I'm doing a bigger budget project. I want to have the assurance that everything looks correct and this is the way to go if you want the perfect colors for your footage. But all of these things are worthless if the monitor that you're viewing all your images on is not correct. So of course, Datacolor provides the new Spider X inside this kit, which I am very stoked about. One thing that I'm not stoked about is the fact that it's USB-A instead of USB-C. So I'm gonna have to use my trusty old dongle life in order to use it. But once you put the dongle on here, 
you're good to go. Now there are two versions of the Spider X. If you buy this full kit, you get the Spider X Elite, which I highly recommend. The Elite has better features for videographers as well as photographers. You're also able to actually calibrate projectors with this thing. The Pro is for people who want the best computer monitor setup ever. That is really all you need if you want the best monitor calibration. But if you're more of a videographer and you're going to calibrate other things like the monitor that you're using to look at your footage on, like one from Small HD, one from Atomos, or even if you want to calibrate a projector, the Elite Spider X is the one to get. Or the Elite. Elite. That's how you say it. Elite. By the way, I can kind of see my skin is a little moist. It's because it's a little hot in here. I'm a little sweaty. So, uh, sorry for the sweat, spider spider. So now the autofocus performance on my lens is perfect. The white balance on my camera in this setting is looking crispy. I have the information that I need to make sure that my white balance and color settings are perfect. And the monitor that I'm viewing all these things on is color accurate. I now know that I am delivering an image that is neutral, that is color balanced the way that I want. All the way through, I have full control of what this image looks like and I know for a fact that it is correct. Now let's just cross our fingers that people's phones, tablets, and television sets are calibrated decently, but it's always a good starting point to make sure that you're delivering the best image because you never know what people are viewing that image on. You want it to be as accurate as possible because even if the TV is a little off, even if your phone is a little off, if the starting place is correct, then it's not gonna be super wonky and weird. Now what's really cool about this kit is you're getting it at a discounted rate right now if you buy using the link below at $319. Now this is supposed to cost around $400. And if you buy just the Spider X Elite color calibrator, then that is gonna run you $269. So you might as well spend a little bit extra and get all the amazing accessories that come with this kit. Plus it comes with this nice little rugged case that you can take with you anywhere you go. If you're interested in picking up this kit, then use the link I've provided in the description below. I'd like to thank Datacolor for sponsoring this video and for being a part of this channel. Let me know what you guys think about color calibration in the comment section below. That's something I never thought I would say, but do it. Let me know what your thoughts about this spider kit. I think it's an amazing kit. I love Spider-Man, Spider-Man's out. Have you guys seen Spider-Man? Let me know about that in the comment section below as well. Also, quick shout out to my personal channel, the Dave Mays channel. I just posted my first video in a long time and it's called the Lens Cap Challenge. Basically, if you guys have seen this thing going around with the bottle cap challenge, it's kind of my own version of that. A little hair floating in my hat, I saw it. So please go over to my personal channel and subscribe to that if you wanna see more camera gear and technology, comedy and entertainment videos. No reviews on that channel anymore, just camera gear and tech entertainment. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. We'll see you next week.